Hi, welcome to Draw Tip Tuesday. My name is Ko Shukuna and I am on a creative journey and I know that you are too, so let's do this together. And today's video is quite different from what you're used to because it's an edited version of a recording that I did uh, during a live session with my patrons. Through my Patreon page, you can support me to make these Draw Tip Tuesday videos weekly for free here on YouTube. And one of the tiers includes live sessions. So the video you are about to see is uh, a recording of our very first drawing party, which was a live session online where I came up with uh, a fun exercise and um, we have been drawing together for just a little under an hour and while we did we were chatting and it was really nice to do so. So if you would like to participate in one of these drawing sessions, in these drawing parties, it really is fun, then check out my Patreon page. For today's video I edited out all the images and the audio of the participants because of privacy reasons and I sped up the video. You will hear me chatter a little bit uh, about the exercise, but also just stuff that came up, like, for example, my book and what was happening that day. Today's exercise is really, really fun. I think you will get something out of it. Um, it's about changing your angle, like drastically. So what you need is a subject and you are going to draw it three times. We'll set a timer. We set the timer for five minutes and then added just a few more minutes to a color. But really don't set it for too long because you want to keep moving on and then end up with three fun drawings without taking hours. First, put your subject right in front of you on your desk or your table and draw it. Then after five minutes, Put it on the floor so you will have a bird's eye view. It will change everything and you will see your subject in a completely different way. Then after another five minutes of drawing, put your subject somewhere where you can see it with a worm's eye view. So you look up to it. You can sit on the ground while it's on the table or you can just put it on a shelf, however it works for you. Then draw that for three minutes and see which view is your favorite and why. I have a plant that I want to draw. I think I'm going to use a um, brush pen. So I think what I'll do is actually create three um, frames uh, in my sketchbook. All right, timer is on. I might already have <laughs> given myself an extra challenge because um, I didn't really measure where I am on the page and I might run out of page very soon already. But well, maybe that's actually, could be a good thing. It could be like, um, zoomed in. My uh, leaves are growing. <laughs> as I am drawing them <laughs> because this leaf is actually just as large as that leaf here. Our five minutes is up. I am just going to put a plant on the floor where I can see it. So funny, this plant is always on the same spot and it's in a corner of the living room and it grows towards the light. So it's like, it's kind of flat. Um, because all the leaves are just standing in the same position. It's like a wall, a wall of leaves. I think I need color to make a little bit of sense of it. So this morning I had a meeting with my designer for my book. It was really fun. She, um, uh, I met her uh, a few weeks ago and she gave me a proposal and we talked about it and we agreed on a price and all that. 
And then today she came uh, here to um, see a few of my sketchbooks because I, I told her like, well, you know, I just really want you to understand the feeling of going through someone's sketchbook uh, because that's what I also want my book to be like, as if you are flipping through a sketchbook of mine. And um, it was really fun to go through the sketchbooks and have some get some ideas about how to um, how to handle certain parts of the book and. Um, I had a few books that I really like in their, you know, um, design. So I showed those to her. And uh, I had a few books that I really don't like in design. So I also showed those and she agreed, which was good. So, uh, yeah, I'm so excited to go into this next phase. Okay, if you can prop up your subject to quite a bit higher so you have more of that worm's eye view and we can move on to the next bit oh i like this view i think just having these three frames you can already see how effective it is to just change your angle it can be so sort of dramatic so i've been doing that a lot lately <laughs> hovering over uh, stuff and uh uh, trying to get the bird's eye view and then sitting down very low. I have even been lying down on the floor <laughs> to get the good views. I might go back to that first one and add some color too, because that feels very sort of empty now. Okay, so I started too low on the page, so it became sort of a zoomed in jungle <laughs> to the top um, view with my foot here and all kinds of tangled uh, cords that were on the floor too. I like this view best, it works. And I also like how the um, color worked out. So evolved into being more uh, confident with the whole thing. It's a whole story. I don't know what the story is, but uh, yeah, it's a three panel story. Maybe you can do this every now and then in your sketchbook with other things that you draw. Instead of sitting on a chair, maybe you sit on the floor and see how that completely makes everything different. Or perhaps you can stand, hover over something and draw the subject or the scene. I really like doing that in my sketchbooks and I think it adds something to the storytelling and also to the composition, of course. Well, as I said, everything sort of changes because of it. It's really exciting. I hope you will try this exercise and I hope you enjoy the kind of roughly edited video. I think it's helpful anyway, just like a drawing. If it ain't perfect, it's still a drawing. Good. I will put a link below this video if you are interested in my book because I talk about that in the video and of course a link to my Patreon page. I would love it if you would join my club. I'll see you next week. Bye.